What I remember from the last video I made was um, he told me that the uh, the old stuff will take the paint right off the condenser coil. And what does it leave it? Like a, a dull gray color or something? Looks like you're cutting a lot of dirt off, but you're really taking paint off. You only really need to use it if you have a really, really bad you know, situation. In this case, these are up all pads, like if they're sitting down in the mud, dirt, and or on a roof. Where's that hose hook up at here? Um, the one on the side of the house is the only one that works. That is the inside of my first floor. No, wait, that's the second floor. Yeah, the one that's closer to the house is the second floor. Or wait, wait, no, no, you're right. That is the first floor. My bad. But yeah, that's the inside of my um, surface access panel. Had a bit of a brain fart there. And if this were a heat pump, it would have the defrost control board mounted right up there in that blank area, right? Yeah. waiting and the other thing I'm just waiting for all these brutal heat waves we've been having I'm just waiting for one of those one of those to just puff up and explode that's like that's the, most the thing I mean I'm not a firm believer in check, checking them that much unless you really uh, one thing you can look for is you can see them making oil out and some of them go after only a few months and some of them can exactly. last years right exactly you can pass for two to the egg on the wall I checked them, man, and went on call for the same week. I was going back to call for them. I checked them every time. I just, you know, 95 degrees, 100 degrees now. And then my neighbor right next door, right before Hurricane Irene hit, and I got a video of this too, um, the um, contact switch went, and his air conditioner would not turn on at all. And he was worried that the thing was uh, shot. The technician came and changed out the part in like 10 minutes, so that was a relief. But yeah, the, how often do you have to replace contactor switches? Only if they're burnt.
have at your house 410A or 22? difference. All I care about is that it keeps my house cool on a really, really hot day. I've never, when it comes to R12 versus 134 in a car, R12 definitely cools better, but I haven't noticed a difference between 410A and 22 in houses. So what's this one reading? Everything good? Everything's good. better brands so that's what the you know before like I said I opened up this unit before just to see what it looked like inside I, I shot off the power and this was after I'd learned how to do it properly I always thought that the run capacitors were oval in shape before I opened up my uh, my uh, first floor unit they used to be. these have lasted almost five years Aside from the rust, what's the voltage at the uh, run capacitor? So do you know if Carrier still makes the Infinity with the um, reciprocating in it or no? There's so this one's probably on the, um, oh there it goes. For a second. The good ones are the ones that have like the knife thing that you can... Where they're just tight, like the metal that goes in there to this bed is tight, these are loose so you gotta get it. So what's next on the list? Okay, so my air conditioner tune-up video did not turn out quite the way I expected. Only because my air conditioners wound up needing a lot less work than I expected. Everything is in perfect working order. Um, all the electrical readings, amp draws, that kind of thing were... Um, normal all the refrigerant levels are good run caps are good and I got as you um, I haven't edited all the videos together yet but I'm um, just saying this for the hell of it you will see early you you saw earlier in the video that um, I, I I got a good look inside the um, surface access panels of my units. And it is starting to get really hot out and it's going to be 72 tomorrow, like 84 or 85 on Sunday, it's going to be in the 80s on Monday, it's going to be 76 on Tuesday and then it's going to dip back down into the 60s. But yeah, this video wound up being not quite as um, in-depth as the furnace video. 
But I guess that's kind of a good thing because it means my units don't have any problems with them. Alright, I've got homework to do and a busy couple days ahead of me, so um, I'll get this posted as soon as I can. Thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed the video, out. This has been a Stamped Octagon production.